Hi, and welcome back. In the previous section, we learned how to create some special effects with color and different tools. In this section, we are going to discuss color sets and color palettes. We'll start off by importing a color set from Photoshop. Then we'll talk about three different color palettes in Clip Studio Paint, the Intermediate Color Palette, the Approximate Color Palette, and the Color History Palette. Then we'll also use the subview to select colors. Then we'll also use the subview to select colors from a reference image. This section is fairly simple, but using color sets can help save you a lot of time when working on your projects, which is why I've chosen to spend an entire section on it. In this first video, we will import a color set from Photoshop. Clip Studio Paint can import color sets saved from Photoshop, so if you have a custom color set and are a user switching from Photoshop, you can bring your colors with you. Let's go ahead and import a bunch of colors. So first, we're going to need a .aco file of color swatches from Photoshop. You can either download these from websites or you can save them from your own Photoshop program. For instance, I have this Copic color palette in Photoshop that would be great to have over in Clip Studio Paint. All you have to do to save your color set is click on the menu in the Swatches palette in Photoshop and click on Save Swatches. This is Photoshop CS4, so depending on which version you have, your menu may be located in a different spot. Once we have the swatches saved, we can go back to Clip Studio Paint. First, we need to have the Color Set palette open. If you can't find it in your interface already, you can go to Window, Color Set to open it. Now we'll click on the menu icon here in the top left of the color sets. Click on Import Color Set. All we have to do now is navigate to where we saved our .aco file, or to where it's downloaded if you got a color set from the internet. Highlight the .aco file to be imported and then click on Open. Here is our imported color set. Clip Studio even names it automatically, but we can rename it if we don't like this name. All we need to do is click the wrench icon right here next to the color set name. The edit color set window will open. Locate the color set to be renamed and click on change name of settings. Enter a new name and press enter on your keyboard. The color set's new name will be displayed if you changed it. Click on OK to save your changes. And that's it. In this video we have learned how to import a color set. 